Well, and it's also kind of uncovered some, you know, very interesting things. Um, so, and even now I would say that one of the things that tools like Power BI do, and even, you know, some of, uh, you look at like ArcGIS, for example, is that it's able, mapping is, mapping hasn't gotten any simpler, but the way we present it has. And so, mm. um, you know, ArcGIS, for example, they have, when you look at a map, it will sec it will show a certain view and it's able to render that more easily. Um, but, you know, if you transfer, if you want to work with it, you often have to kind of simplify the lines um, because, you know, even if you look at Colorado, for example, is a square, is a rectangular state. But if you mm -hmm. look at the borders for it, it's not like four points. <laughs> I want, I've used right. the Bermuda Triangle as an example of something that, you know, I, there's four points for you. You've got the three points, but then you're actually connecting it back together. Um, is that a lot of these tools have done a good job of uh, taking some of the complexity out so it is faster to render because they've they've aggregated it on, you know, essentially their end. Um, and, you know, that a lot of these custom maps are, uh, you know, they're still complex. For example, you can get... Um, you can get a map layer of like all the railroads, which have been simplified, by the way, over the last hundred years. Um, it, and there's still so many different points, right? Think about, you know, where's your closest train line, for example, is uh, is that, you know, a line on the on the map. So I think it's really fascinating because mapping itself is a data point and we often don't realize that. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, can you and and. I'll say I had use cases a long time ago to do quite a bit of mapping, but it's been something I have not